Do you hate religion? So do I. You know what religion is about? Jumping through hoops. Controlling and manipulating. You know what our creator wants? Relationship. He doesn't control or manipulate. He gives us free will. And I've found that the ones that hate religion the most are the ones that have been abused by it. The twisting of scripture. Using scripture like Satan does. There's aspects of truth. But anytime you use scripture to try and control or manipulate, wicked. And there's not one righteous. No, not one, including me, including you. We all need grace. We all need love. But when someone tells you to submit while they're being abusive, to honor while they're being abusive and you call them out because you got healthy enough to stop accepting the abuse maybe even believing that you deserve it because you've been so beaten down it's not dishonoring to have boundaries You cannot demand respect. Respect is given. And our creator respects us enough to have free will. To choose him or to choose our flesh. My way. My way is not the way. His way is the truth. Life. Abundance. He's the only one worthy of submission. Seek him first in his righteousness. Now, he doesn't promise happiness, but he gives joy in the midst of sorrow, peace in the midst of turmoil. Love is not the easy thing. It's a choice. And we're called as believers to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. To deny ourselves. Now that doesn't mean to deny your need. Jesus himself shows us the way. He walked away from the crowds. The hungry. The wounded. The despairing and he got with his father he told his own mother at a young age in the temple he's about his father's business was that dishonoring to his mother no way he knew his calling He wanted the cup to pass in his flesh, fully man and fully God. <laughs> but not his will, but his father's be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
So if you think you're not loved by your creator, if you don't believe in him, you're dead wrong. And I hope you come to know. Because he's calling you. And it's his kindness that leads us to repentance. He wants health. He wants everything good for you. It's easy to be in denial. <sighs> Sometimes we don't want to see the truth because it's painful. It hurts. Sometimes it's the truth about others and sometimes it's the truth about ourselves. We all have a need. A huge need. He didn't come to condemn. He came to save. He seeks out the loss. He has open arms for the prodigal sons and daughters. Come home. All you who are weary, come home. His yoke is easy, his burden is light. Oh, cast all your cares on him. For he cares for you. He knows your pain. He catches every tear. His ways are higher. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path it may not be the easy path <sighs> for to live is Christ but to die to the self and ultimately die physically in this body leads to eternal life He wants you. He wants me. And he is mine. And I am his. And I hope and pray the same for you. Ooh. How great thou art. How great thou art. In awesome wonder. How great thou art. Come home. Ultimately where there's no more pain or sorrow or tears. This world is not my home. I'm just a pass through. I'm an alien here. I belong with the Father. With my bridegroom, the Holy Spirit, take control. Take my body, mind, and soul. Don't put a finger on anything I do that grieves you. Not by might, not by power, by his spirit. Rise up, soar with wings like an eagle above the storms. Know who's got you if you want him to. He is able, more than able, to accomplish what concerns you today. And as far as the east is from the west, when you confess your sin, he remembers it no more. Stop carrying what's not yours to carry. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. 
to you, Lord, be the glory and the honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed be. Blessed be. He requires no more, for it is finished. Be. Be still. Be still and know. I am. There's so much more I want to say. It's all right there. Time is short. Eternity is a long time. This is a blip on the radar screen. All these light and momentary troubles, they may not feel light or momentary, but in the scheme of eternity, <sighs> hell is not a party, it's weeping and gnashing of teeth. I don't want that for anyone. Not even the ones that have done me the most harm. I suppose not even most of all. The ones that have wounded me the deepest and betrayed me. <laughs> because I too have betrayed. My need is great. Repent. Turn back to the Father. <laughs> I beseech thee. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what they say about you. <laughs> if you are a believer, you will be persecuted. <laughs> you will be treated unjustly. Stay close to Jesus. Let him wrap you in his loving arms. Heal you with his touch. Softly and tender. Jesus is calling. Calling all sinners. Come home. Thank <laughs> you.